So guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be quick and dirty. I'm just going to show you how to do an oil change on the F10, N55, aka the 535. There's really nothing to it. And also don't forget, over there you have your cabin air filter. Some people forget it. So this video is just to make sure you got everything you need. So here we got the parts. It's mostly oil because you got your filter. In there you have the the seals the on the o-rings get to that later oil i'm using 5w40 i'm living in a hard country and it's just better for the engine and you got your cabin air filter i'm going to show you where that thing goes when we get to that you guys know this one the 535 f10 and you've seen the project 550 and that's another one and that actually is a 535 diesel so we're adding him one more, but that's actually not mine. That's his. This guy's Bilal, check him out. Motor Beard, I guess LA. why. Motor, Motor Beard LA. LA, if you like bikes. We do like... Harley Davidson stuff. Uh, it's a lot about the late model Harley Davidson. Uh, I've been very active on that, but there's a lot of stuff you can see and learn. Uh, based in Southern California, LA. So this is specific to the N55, your six cylinder, your oil filter is right here. If you have a six cylinder diesel, you don't have this here, but your oil filter will be right here. If you have a four cylinder, it's gonna be somewhere in here. I actually don't know, they never bother checking. But if you have a V8, if you have over here, your oil filter is gonna be underneath. So that's fun, but they all talk the same, 25 Newton meter. And it is also just the oil filter and just the oil change, so don't stress about it. You're gonna open your oil filter cap, and you have your cap here. It actually also tells you the tightening torque, which is 25 Newton meter. You use this fancy special tool, fits on here, and you use a 27 millimeter to go around. I wouldn't recommend to use a adapter to go inside, it may break. This is a better option, and now you open this thing. Just put some paper here, because there's always some oil that leaks out, and you leave it in. You just open it until you see the O-wing coming out, because now you know that air can come in, and that's all that you need right now. Now, go underneath, open the train plug, and let the oil run out. So since we have all the cars here, I'm still running, I think it's a 351 wheel design, the original 19 inches that came with the end package. I'm running the original silver on here. The 550 has the same wheels on there, same silver. So, but the buddies has the black ones on there. Same wheel but black. So now you can tell me which ones you think look better. The silver or the black? So if you still have your under tray on here, this is where your train plug hides. You open this eight millimeter, then you can twist this cap off and you gain access to a 17 millimeter train plug. Most important, don't drop the plug. Don't drop it. Take your old one off, clean it, there's no oil behind it, put a new one on, done. So the bottom is still running, let's take the filter out. Be careful and be quick, so you don't make a mess. Okay. So hold out. And now, yeah. we remove the filter, plug. We have one seal here and one here. Take a tiny one, start with the big one, because that's easier. And the tiny one is always going to be crap. So be ready for that. So, off it is. That's where your wing sits. Like that. Um, small one, don't lose it. Just flip it on. Like that. Filter, riding goes into. And you hear a cluck once the drums stop. 
plug. That's it. So you can, if you fancy, you should check your oil and the filter if something sparkles. But I've not had any problems. I'm gonna check the oil later. Careful not to squeeze your paper, make sure it's not in there. Then you tighten. 25 Newton meter. But you will notice once it reaches the end. Now it's flashed, give it a little push. That's it. But the torque it anyway, just because, so you see, but you can't turn it any further than that. Twenty-five newton meter is about, I think, eighteen or so foot pounds. Go with twenty because. I'm gonna close this for the moment. Nothing falls in, but let's not forget to add oil to that. Seventy millimeter, twenty-five newton meter. Or like what 18 20 foot pounds put this thing back on again because you fancy turn it to close and then you gotta find this hole here well, already did we said it i forgot to film that but let me show you anyway just get in foot is not on the brake push button once Fill up all the stuff. Wait for that to happen. Cycle through. You push and hold the little button in the corner until your service menu pops up. And now you can just cycle through what you want to reset. When you got it, you push and hold. But the reset button now is impossible because I just resetted it. You push and hold, it asks, Are you sure you want to reset? You push and hold again and then it resets. And that is all. Uh, of course, you also want to let the engine run a little bit. You start it up, just try it again. The engine has to have a certain temperature, about in the first quarter here. Then you can actually measure the oil. It's gonna run through for a moment. By measuring oil level, it will rev a little bit. That looks good. Oil is changed. There's enough oil in there. The service was resetted. Last thing before we can finish is changing the cabin air filter down here. So finally, let's change the cabin air filter. This is the one I'm using right now at least. And of course, it's gonna be down here. I'm gonna clean this afterwards because you will have some leaf and some crumpets falling down once you remove the air filter. So don't even bother. You will have to take out this T20 Torx here. And in my case, I have to disconnect this connector here. You probably don't have that. That is for the light I have here. I take also out these T30s. These are for the airbag, both sides. Then you put it down. The airbag is clipped in besides the two screws, there's a clip. So you give it a little pull and it should come off. I usually leave the airbag plug on, but I discontinue disconnect back here. Cigarette lighter, see more space, and also the light for the footwell. You just remove the plug from the light, just pull it off, and you carefully wiggle this off. And then it only hangs on the cable for the airbag. I don't bother taking this off for this one. And we get in enough space to turn it out of your way. Just like so. Panel is here out of the way. 
have to kind of like go in and have to turn the catalog up there because your filter sits right in here. So you have four T20s, it's one here, one there, one all the way back there, another one somewhere here. You open them all. And this panel comes loose. The one in the corner up right beside this tube here is always the hardest to get to. Once you got them all out, just flip it down. And then here are your filters. Just pull them both out. Pay attention to the airflow direction. So we install it the same way again. As we go, just like that, you got the old one out. Take the new one, slide it up there, put the lid back on, tighten your four screws, put your connectors and cables back in place, and install this. Just pay attention when you install the lid. We have back here these little noses. They slide up there, in there first. So you put it back first, and then you fold it up. And it's the same with the lid here. We have this holder here that goes in here, in there first, and then up. That is all. That's how you change your cabinet filter. Every time you change your oil filter and your oil cabinet filter is a part of an oil service, so don't forget about it. And it doesn't matter if you just got the car and you just want to save some money on it. As they age, they get cheaper to own, I get it. Or if you just, almost like me, don't trust anyone working on it anymore, just do it yourself. It's pretty simple. So, Synergy oil service is what is best for the car if you do it more often than what it recommends and it is really easy to do you don't need much for it you can do it at home oh yeah and this happened but more to that <laughs> in another video i'm kind of like shoveling project cars these days and even the n55 still has a couple parts i'm gonna show you we still have a couple parts here everything in here goes into there everything needs some time especially if you take the half interior part you want to make sure you have enough time to work on it and do it properly. Don't wash anything. I really looking forward to make these videos and to install these. Maybe some of you know what that even is. It says on here. That's one weird part and I'm going to tell you it is a crash pad. That's all I'm going to leave you with. Once I get to installing these and filming it, then you know what it is, what it's for and why I kind of obsessed over it. Because this car has it. But I already wanted to do it to this car before I got this one. It's just a short video. I'm gonna make more of these short DIYs for basic maintenance. So it's easier to find once you look for something specific. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.